Lisa, what are you doing right now? Taking a break from work? No? Probably in between chapters of your favorite book. For me, it will. it is definitely going to be a book from Sydney Sheldon. Still no? Probably you're hanging out with friends. What is the first thing that comes to mind? Definitely coffee. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ria and today's topic is going to be on delicious, delicious coffee. Yes. Mm, so what should I order today? Probably a creamy cappuccino. No, no, no. Probably a milky latte. No, no. Probably just to erase those cobwebs of sleep from my mind, it's definitely going to be a shot of espresso. <laughs> These are the terms that you actually come come about, okay, when you think or when you talk about coffee. So today we're going to actually talk about all these terms that you might hear probably when you're going to barristers or probably at cafe coffee day or just hanging out with your friends at home. You might come across all these words. Yes, maybe you don't know the meaning. That's okay. We'll discuss today. All right. The first word that we can talk about is cappuccino. You have always ordered probably that is the most favorite, I think, cup of coffee that people order. All right, in barristers or in cafe coffee day, any coffee shop for that matter. All right, cappuccino. What does it look like? It's actually, it's actually a, a coffee that has got foam on top. Yes, and it is served. All right, it is served in a glass on a saucer. All right, so it's served in a glass on a saucer, and it is made from foamed milk all right and i'm sure you have noticed um these days the coffee makers are so artistic they actually make these beautiful decorations on the foam in that coffee all right so i'm sure this is one of the favorites of many okay ordering cappuccino and do you know that it actually comes from italy hmm. well this may come from italy but when were the americans behind they came up with latte yes that's how you pronounce it latte all right now how is this different this is actually made from regular heated milk yes all right this is made from regular heated milk and you know do you know how it is being served it is actually served in beautiful porcelain cups all right it's really served in this beautiful very british no Yes, it is served in beautiful porcelain cups. All right, that's what we call as latte. Moving on, all right. Oh, espresso. The last time I had a shot of espresso, I could not sleep for two nights. Could you imagine? Well, espresso is actually made in a coffee machine. All right, this is made with minimal water, very less, nearly boiling water, which goes through pressure because you uh, the coffee makers actually add this ground really freshly ground coffee or sometimes just coffee beans all right and it's actually in a shot all right so you just have a shot of espresso moving on to iced coffee but before that do you know that all these three items are actually hot they're hot coffee but the fourth one is not all right iced coffee this is actually made with cold ingredients all right that's how we differentiate from the other the other coffees all right this is cold now mochaccino my favorite this is hot though all right this this uh, kind of coffee is hot but do you know what is different it is a form of latte but it has got a hint of chocolate so yum, all right. So macchiato. I I'm, I'm not so sure whether there's much. Uh, um, there's a lot of people who actually order macchiato, but this is absolutely delicious because it has got a hint of chocolate. Okay. So these are the type of coffees that we usually order at coffee shops. Have you ever heard of drip coffee? Well, the people who are totally, totally, I think, coffee addicts will love this coffee. All right. This is actually made in coffee machines. Okay. When you enter a coffee shop, the only thing you can smell is this lovely, lovely coffee beans. All right. Brewing of coffee beans. It's absolutely, absolutely lovely. So when you're making drip coffee, and sometimes people actually prefer to make it at home as well. The ground freshly, um, freshly, uh, fresh. Sorry, uh, coffee beans, and then they add it to water and they make it in 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 a coffee machine. Okay. It takes a bit of time, but it's a lovely brew and people love drinking that coffee especially for coffee addicts yes all right now moving on to coffee aficionado that's quite a huge term isn't it 
even it's it's an absolute mouthful but coffee aficionado is is a term is in you know, a label given to those lovely coffee drinkers who are absolutely um you know they they love their coffee and they're out there to get the right beans can you imagine there are people out there who actually go for the right beans the right brew okay and they sometimes they buy this this lovely coffee beans and they ground it they crush it themselves right just to have that lovely cup of coffee now these people are just not normal addicts okay they are kind of humanitarians as well okay they kind of go uh, to that length of buying coffee from those farmers who grew who actually grow coffee um in in a very humanitarian way or if they are paid well all right they are treated well the farmers are being treated well from them only do these people buy coffee how lovely is that isn't that actually a noble thought Hmm. Moving on to this, do you know that these people actually um, think about whether how how the coffee beans are actually roasted, whether they are lightly roasted or they are darkly roasted? They actually have different taste. Who knew? Well, we only buy you know ground coffee you know in bottles. That's all that we buy, right? But these people, the addicts, they actually go for whether the beans are light or whether they are dark. Cough, caffeine habit. Do you know, you know, if someone who has got a caffeine habit, actually caffeine is a stimulant. Okay. Now, this might have a negative or a positive effect on your health. All right. People who have like a caffeine habit, you know, they might actually go through calcium deficiency. Who knew? All right. We just love drinking our cup of coffee. But... It might be harmful in some way or the other all right now people who are into caffeine habits actually they always require a caffeine fix now who knew about this term okay now when you have a caffeine fix all right that means you regularly need coffee everybody is it's like you know you are addicted and you really really need that caffeine fix all right now let's go into the next term which is wired up do you know what wired up actually means all right this is an aftermath okay when you don't want to have an aftermath of caffeine okay when you drink a lot of coffee isn't there a different kind of feeling that you get some it kind of increases your metabolism but I have this kind of queasy kind of feeling. I feel a, a little weird, maybe a, a little hyperactive as well, right? Sometimes I I remember when I used to study a lot. I used to, I used to drink four or five cups of coffee, and after that, everybody used to stop talking to me because I used to get angry. I I used to go through this behavioral change. All right. So sometimes people get wired up. I know I used to. So if you don't want to get wired up if you don't want to have that aftermath of having a lot of caffeine what do you have what do you do you get a decaf all right now if you talk about decaf uh, majority of you might not know okay we have coffee that has got caffeine in it decaf actually means that there is no caffeine all right this is the opposite of having caffeine in your coffee so no caffeine in a decaf coffee you can usually get it at any of the coffee shops all right and this is an opposite in a in opposite to caffeinated coffee caffeinated coffee meaning it has got caffeine there you go all right so i hope you like all these terms i know you go through it okay every time that we are at a coffee shop every time that we're having with you know having friends everybody comes up with this lovely terms about coffee and and this and that so sometimes you might think what are they actually talking about these are the meanings okay of these words i'm sure you listen to them you go through them all right so now you know what their meanings are so you can also use it properly in your vocabulary whenever you're talking about coffee so in the previous slide, we actually saw some vocabulary, okay, uh, pertaining to coffee. So in this one, we are going to talk about some of those phrases, some of those questions that we come across daily when we go to our favorite, favorite coffee shop, all right? Now, when you go to a coffee shop, let's say barristers, okay, and the person behind the counter actually asks you a few questions. How do you take your coffee? What are you going to answer? I take my coffee in a cup. No? 
I take my coffee via you know, my mouth. It this simply is not what he's asking actually. What he's asking is what are the key ingredients in your coffee? Alright, for example, to make it much more simpler or maybe you know to streamline it, they might ask, do you take it black? What do you mean by that? Do you take it black? Alright? But what that person means is whether you want only coffee and water in your coffee. Okay? Now that that is actually quite simple and usually people take this coffee, you know, a black coffee that actually is an absolute stimulant. People who are studying, people who work late nights, okay, they prefer black coffee as opposed to with milk and sugar. Alright, now this is, this is totally opposite to this one. Alright, usually sometimes my friends just order black coffee, but I love milk and sugar. In my cup of coffee, all right. Now the guy might at behind the counter might also ask you, do you prefer skim milk? I know for those Weight Watchers, you would definitely go for skim milk, right? What is skim milk? Well, skim milk is milk that's without any fat. Okay. Usually, people who are on a diet, who's actually watching their weight, usually go for this coffee. All right, coffee with skim milk. What is the opposite? All right, we'll go with whole milk. Whole milk is the opposite of skim milk. Now, this whole milk will actually have fat, right? And more cholesterol, right? And more carbohydrates. The other one is the absolute opposite. The last one, do you prefer half and half? What is half and half? What? In, in a cup, there would be half coffee? Absolutely not. Okay, do you prefer half and half? What the person behind the counter means that actually you would prefer half milk and probably half cream. Yum! Right? Yes, so when you prefer half and half, you want half milk and half cream in your coffee. These are the phrases that we actually come across, alright? So now I know and I'm sure that you're much more confident, okay, in using this or, you know, listening to these questions and answering to them because now you know the meanings of these questions, right? I'm heading out for my, my favorite, favorite Marcuccino. I hope you are too. So till then, um, till the next lesson, I'll see you again. Goodbye.